Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Garage, episode seven. I am your host, Dwayne Wick. This week, guys, I'm gonna tell you all about how I discovered a Bondo Nightmare underneath these weld on turbo flares. So let's check it out. See how bad this uh, fender job is. It's not impressing me so far. Yeah, there is a quarter inch of Bondo where the fender flare was welded on and then this section here was filled. Pretty sad, pretty sad work. Here we see the fender flare weld job. The finish work is pretty much a joke. It's like uh, they just decided to Bondo over it. I'm really curious about this section in here. I think this is just, this is probably like a quarter inch or more of Bondo probably through here. Just to kind of fill this in. You can see it's about an eighth inch thick here. Pretty sad. Who did this? You gotta be ashamed. Look at this Bondo, unreal. I mean, there's been worse, but not not much. This is embarrassing metal metal work. There was so much of a, a lip here; they just filled this in with bondo all the way all the way down. Called it good, and it so wasn't. For those of you who don't really know much about paint and body, if they smooth on and cake on a lot of Bondo, which is like a a, um, a body filler to get rid of like bumps and, and to do transitions, generally that's a sign of really poor body work because the metal should be having that shape to begin with. So if the metal doesn't have that shape, then lazy body work is to smooth it out with Bondo. But to have this kind of thick, you know, Bondo is just a sign of laziness and uh, failure to prep the metal to get it uh, to get it right. You know, line up the door, get this area out, pushed out correctly. Um, it all started with the hack job of the turbo flare added. Not even all of it, but some of it. Coming up on about 11 ounces. I'd say with all the other pieces that are on the ground over there in those buckets and stuff, they probably have close to a pound of Bondo that I've removed. Okay, so why is this a problem? This is a lap weld, so they've overlapped the turbo flare with the body. And there's this big valley right here, all the way down. So first of all, there's a lot of filler that has to be in there to make a smooth transition, so that's one problem. The second problem is that inevitably welds will rust, and that's clearly evident on this side and the other side before I started chipping away, but you can see the rust coming through here leaking down off the weld and then causing the Bondo to lift and the bodywork to bubble and crack. So that is why you want to take extra time, but weld the, the flares on or completely replace the quarter panels. All right, guys, uh, shout out to my buddy, Jamie, who, uh, who says, hey, just replace this whole quarter. You are gonna waste a bunch of time and money trying to fix this and it'll always be a weld which could always rust. 
So I'm, a, I'm in agreement with them. Restoration Design makes turbo quarter panels. Um, as you would imagine, they're, they're not, you know, inexpensive, but uh, I think given how much body and metal work it would take to turn these around, it's definitely the, the best option at this point. Lay next day. All right, guys, so that was just for fun, really. Um, I wanted to explore that side, see if it was any better. It's not. It's um, filled with Bondo, as you would expect. You can see the thickness in some of these areas I left. Uh, there's a section up here. It's just atrocious how much Bondo is really in here. Um, this whole area was filled to flatten out the transition between the weld on and the original body. So it's bondoed all the way to the door. I think the door gap was off. Um, just a lot of, <laughs> a lot of compromises and poor workmanship. So now my next step is to research how to pull this quarter panel off. Lay next day. All right guys. I'm pretty sure these flares have to go or they have to be cut off and redone. And at that point, it's like just start over with a clean quarter panel. So that was where I was at yesterday. But then I'm like, if I'm going to go through the trouble of putting on a whole quarter panel, what other options do I have? What about lightweight fiberglass RSR flares with vented as a vent here, as a vent here. It's also 13 inch flares as opposed to 11 turbo R11, RSR 13, that's an additional two inches. It's more like a RWB Whoopee. as far as uh, flare size. Now, what do I do? What I do is I cut here. I leave basically a, um, a little section of metal of the original quarter panel. So I would cut all this off right here, I believe at this uh, edge, all the way to the door jam. And this whole abomination would be cut out. I believe I would keep this down to probably about here. All that metal's gone and a fiberglass RSR flare is panel bonded to here. So it joins up against this edge. Um, there's a lip here and then this small amount of filler to make this transition over the lip. And then you can shave the edge of the fiberglass down. And uh, yeah, it may actually be cut down here like, like this to give it this edge to glue onto. So probably like right here, but I think it meets up with the, the edge of the door jam. I have to uh, look. All right guys, I'm turning uh, lemons into lemonade. I actually really like this idea of the RSR vented flare. It's super uh, aggressive and racy. Uh, it is gonna be a street beast. Uh, I'm not gonna track the car, but I just love the look of that vintage racing style. Purists should be okay with it because I believe the original 3.0 Carrera RSR had glass flares. But the, the problem you run into is wheel choice. Um, you can get BBS centers and then make a 13 inch by 15. That's such an awesome looking wheel. Uh, out of BBS centers, that's probably the least expensive route. You can get custom wheels made or you can run the maxi light 9s and 11s but you got to run big ass spacers i really wanted to stay away from spacers on this car that's why i was looking at those uh custom magnesium 917 style wheels that i showed but yeah i mean 15 grand for a set of wheels not happening um at this point in time the center locks again that's another seven or eight thousand um maybe more 
to, to outfit the car on center locks, which would be totally awesome, but uh, yeah, that's, that's not happening on this budget build. All right, this is Wachuco on Pelican Parts, his build. You can see the cut um, on the steel fender portion. So it does come down below the window there. It looks like quite a bit, like four inches from the edge of the door. So um, not, not the door. This makes more sense as you have an area to screw and glue the fiberglass panel onto. And this is the flare bonded on. So there is a little bit of filler up here. It's minimal. This is a car with uh, original RSR wheels and center locks. Just looks so freaking cool. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Wix Garage. I want to thank Aussie Sales, AASE Sales, as always, as well as TI Porsche Products. Love those guys. Check them out on Instagram. Next week, guys, I'm going to pull out the side glass for you, the window frame, as well as the back quarter glass. Might throw a surprise project in there as well. I'll throw in the, uh, the part where we just hacked off these horrible fenders for you. You got to see that. See you next week. Whoop -dee. You know, I'm happy to be third place. I mean, go watch Home Built by Jeff and then Ah Garage Time with Tom. And then, you know, if you have time, you know, you could watch Wix Garage after that. It's cool. I'm cool with that. Third, I'm happy with third. <laughs>